I actually took the Sky Mall catalog. Guys, if you roll this tight enough, you can, you can break a brick with this thing. So we're gonna smack some stuff up for science, probably. On one hand, we just have this rolled up junk mail. On the other, we have this baton with the masking tape in the magazine. We're gonna see if we can smash through two things today. The first is this can of seltzer water, and the second is a brick from the area that your parents were born in. So gird your loins, whatever that means. I wanna start off with a baseline of just how effective paper is as a self-defense weapon. Actually, that was way better than expected. I was kind of thinking the paper would go all floppy and jimbly jambly, but we're getting some good distance. All right, I don't know what the deal is. I launched this thing across the yard four or five times in a row, and the only damage that we can find is this little dent in the corner. This is a really good time, but we're not breaking anything with this. I don't know how much of a difference duct tape is going to make, but we're going to find out. All right, boys, that feels like hitting something with a bat. One hit in in this can already looks like it's on the verge of exploding. So of course now we have to explode a can by hitting it real hard. Please stand by. I'm feeling pretty cocky after what we did to that can. Let's see what we can do to this brick. As much as I feel like a cool martial arts person when this happens, this thing is just not cutting it. It's not enough to shear the brick in two when it's not supported or braced against something else. So I think that's what we need to do next. I don't know what to tell you boys. I tried to break this thing. My fiance tried to break this thing. We broke the wood that it was supported by. I really wanted to just break it half an Instagram. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I did most of the work here. All right, well, that was a lot of fun, but we didn't snap any bricks in two. But there's one more thing I want to try before we call it quits. You can break a brick with this thing. Now imagine what that would do to some guy's head. Okay, I think I spotted two ways to make this work. First, that paper is rolled up incredibly tight. It's basically purely white at the end. Second, they're using a really white brick, so maybe that's easier to crack. All right, boys, we're putting about 18 years of rock climbing grip strength into winding up this paper. Now, let's see how this thing holds up against something besides a brick. Because not being able to smash something I should be able to smash is throwing me into some kind of existential crisis. Whew, thought I was losing my mind there. Let's see. Oh, God damn it. All right, y'all, I don't know what kind of brick they were using or what kind of paper they were using, but to me, this is pretty tightly rolled. And if I were using a hammer, that would definitely be enough force to break that brick. So maybe there's a special technique or something. And in my opinion, that defeats the purpose of having an improvised weapon. Now, is this capable of breaking bone? Absolutely. Is it capable of breaking boards? Absolutely. Bricks? Uh... If you're gunning for pure destructive power, even a basic hammer or kitchen knife would be better. But if you figured out the secret to smashing bricks with paper, be sure to leave that down in the comments. Thanks for watching, and until next time, peace. Subscribe if you want me to make more. Hit the bell if you want to be notified the next time I make something like this.